Yo, am I into today's look or not? Cause I'm not. <laughs> All right, girl, let's do our makeup. We're just, we're just kicking it right now. You feel me? It just feels very close. It feels very connected. You feel what I'm saying? I'm here in the studio, which I don't use often. I'm using my my vlogging camera. This is a Sony. I also always have to look at this too. This is a CV E1, ZV1, whatever. The one that's not interchangeable. FYI, in case you care and want to get a camera. Okay, praise the Lord. I just went and soaked my sponge. This is from Freck Beauty. I've never used it until now. It got very chubby, by the way. So after you soak your sponge, make sure you go in and then really get the rest of the water out because you want it damp, but you don't want it soaking wet. You feel me? So now here it is. Still the same size, just not dripping, okay? Make sure you follow me on all socials. Also, there's a QR code right here that you can use to access all the products that I use here and all the posts that I put on socials. If you're thinking, oh, where's that dress that she wore last month? It was green, it was red, it was whatever. You can literally go to my LTK and then in the search bar, type in green dress or green or dress. You feel what I'm saying? Boots, black, whatever, right? Foundation fragrance, whatever the case is, just one word that is close enough to whatever you're looking for and you'll find it, okay? I need to buy, okay, this is the one that, okay, so I have different makeup stations in my house, if you don't already know. In some areas, I need a good restock, okay? So in the bathroom, I need to restock on a lip primer, but here I do have one. Look how raggedy it looks. This is the MAC Rubber Prime Lip. It has broken and I just shoved it back down, see? And then it'd be having this and you got a fresh hair. I got a restock on this. I noticed that lip primers just aren't a thing anymore. <laughs> you can hear me, right? <laughs> They're not a thing anymore. So there aren't even many options to choose from. I said that there's an Anastasia one, there's the MAC one, and then I don't know who else makes primers. So if you know of any, let me know, but I gotta restock on the MAC one. I just have to use a primer for my lips. I've done it with a gloss, but when I'm doing a matte lip and I have on a gloss, no, it's no longer a matte lip. And then it breaks up and I don't like all of that. So it's just a whole thing. I was gonna use this one size Secure the Bloor. Whoop! Let me just use my accent. I'm not trying to, I can't, cause then I can't talk. Secure the Bloor. Secure the blur, whatever. This product, I was gonna use it, but mm -mm. my face is feeling a little bit tight, a smidge, and here's why. I just shaved my face today. So that is an exfoliation and it makes my skin feel dry. It just needs more hydration once I shave my face. I'm not gonna use it today because I need hydration. I am, however, gonna use this Makeup Forever HD Skin. You know, this is the OG. I've had this for a while. I wanna use this one here, it's definitely been over 12 months, but it's enough, okay? We're gonna use it. I'm, not, I'm tired of this nonsense. We're gonna use this today. <laughs> I decluttered a while back and I'm not ready for it. Ooh, wait, I need to shake this up? Mm -mm. It shouldn't be running down like that. I mean, it has been a while, but good Lord. Let's give her a good shake, okay? And in this weather, you have to go ahead and, and switch into your winter foundation. Oh, wait, I don't recall it being this. Has it been always like this? Hold on a second, uh-uh. Why are you doing this? Real Techniques 261 brush. I don't recall you being so runny, although it has been a while since I've used you. I guess you are runny. Oh, okay, well, hi. This is a great foundation for my skin. It's a little medium, now I'm reminded, but we gonna, we gonna do what I need to do. It's gonna have me hydrated, which I need, because my skin needs the hydration. And in general, you feel me, in the winter time, go ahead and make sure you use your hydrating foundation, okay? Unless, somehow, some way, you just still be mad Oily in the winter. I mean, if you live in a warm weather area, like the Caribbean, for instance, yeah, you gonna still be oily, you feel me? But over here, the weather is low, the weather is cooling now, so it do be feeling like, whoa, okay. Now this doesn't look a little red. Don't, don't be alarmed, we're gonna get to it, okay? Or is it looking orange? Either way, okay? It's looking a little crazy, we're gonna get to it. What I do like a lot is the one size, by the way, Sephora Savings event is coming up soon, so make your, get your cards ready, okay? Sign up is for free to become a beauty insider. I feel like I'm doing an ad, I'm not. But sign up becoming a beauty insider, you will at least save 10% and then everybody, you're gonna get 30% off of Sephora collection. So if I'm using anything today, which I know I will, that is for a collection, go ahead and grab it, honey, because 30% is serious. Like I know I need to get a new brush or two and Maybe some concealer, we're gonna, we gonna see. I gotta do my own cart, can you imagine? Gift season, restocks, the whole nine yards. Okay, so what I was saying was, the one size turn up the base foundation, I love it. It is so matte, it is so blurring, it is so pretty, it's so matte. It goes on with the sheen, you gonna be like, oh, I look a little shiny. Mm -mm. Finish your whole face, you're gonna be like, wait, what? So I'm letting you know right now, one size secure the blur. Secure the blur, wait, no, one size, I'm so annoyed, not secure the blur. Wah, I'm annoyed, accents, they're all combining themselves. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's all a combination. Mm? One, whatever, okay, that one, turn up the base, that one, look. I've been a while since I use this. It's medium. I need more right here. I got blemishes here that I don't want to see. It's been a while. Can I build this up? Let's figure it out. Remember the NARS Soft Matte? No, not NARS Soft Matte. That's full coverage. That's uh, matte, obviously. It's the NARS Light Reflecting. Do y'all still use that? 
so many good foundations from what it feels like back in the day you know just thought about that because i know that that one was also hydrating okay yeah all right it did cover yeah now you gotta leave it okay too much touching in that area it's gonna move and that's not what i want i want it to stay okay is my skin looking smooth comment let me know is it looking smooth i mean it is a fresh face shave don't play me i know it's looking good go ahead and co-sign okay go ahead and corroborate <laughs> i've been watching so many court so many court uh what court show what court courts mm -hmm. that the stuff on the court mm -hmm. on the internet i've been watching so much of that now i'm using court language okay go ahead and corroborate what i just said praise the lord okay i was gonna use the sephora well, let me just say right now in case you want to know you know for your cart i i do like the sephora best skin ever concealer this is the shade 50n which is great to highlight my face i do also love this tar shade tape this is a matte component so i can't tell if it's close enough but then again this is the shade that is really light isn't it hold on because i have been doing two different concealers hang on okay yeah this is the one that's very light so let's go right here with the very light one this is Tarte shape tape 53 s okay deep sand let me see what 50 and looks like because you know your concealers are gonna look different depending on what base you have on okay base meaning foundation which reminds me when i used to work at mac people would come in and talk about base i'd be like we them out and they meant oh this is also light hold on let's even it out because i did it in one area let's do them both but they're very close and over here for the three quarters and going out i wanted that to be darker so i'm not going to use the 50 end but as you just saw i could have done 50 end all over the under eye but I wanted to try something different today. Dang, I need something that's more muted. Let's do Estee Lauder. This is the Futurist Soft Touch Brightening Concealer. This is not gonna be... Wait, this is warm. This is going a lot of directions. I'm trying to find the, the kind of, see what I'm saying? Like in my bathroom, I know exactly the concealer I want. Over here, I'm like, wait, where are we? It won't, like Auntie Fumi would say on YouTube, and how are we? Wait a minute, we're gonna just blend because I didn't find the other color that I was thinking about, the other shade. Something a little bit darker than the lighter one. That's what I was going for. Doesn't matter the actual concealer, it's just a shade that was a little bit darker. But you know what? This all did work out. It all did work out, look at that. <laughs> I mean, I do want it more dramatic. We're gonna add some more. I just want the drama with my highlight. You feel what I'm saying? Right close to the waterline. Oh, I can still see my brow because of the concealer. We're gonna fix that, okay? We're gonna do something when I get to that area. <laughs> Cause that's not the that's not where I want the brows be, you know. The brows gonna be something different. This is a nice sponge, by the way. If you are looking for a new sponge from Freck Beauty, okay. Oh, I tried that new one size sponge. I didn't like it, and here's why. I actually put it, I put it in the recycling bin. It is recyclable, isn't it? The sponge, is girl. It was just too humongous. It was ginormous. It when it when you wet it, it gets huge, which is great, and it has flat sides. Have you seen the one size sponge? It has flat sides. There's no round side, and I like to use the round side to do like what I just did right now just to blend these harsh lines right there and I couldn't do that with that big old thing you feel what I'm saying I was able to maneuver my face but because there are so many options do I want to just make something work or do I want to have something this is back to for 50 n or do I want to use something that I actually enjoy using you feel me so it was more of that for me and I'm not giving it away because it's a sponge and I mean I just don't trust cleaning it enough and then being able to give that to somebody you feel me so i just i just recycled it all right more of the 50n to guess just get this to be bounce wow wow you feel me i want it even down more. what's going on what's going on my face today something different is going on <laughs> do you feel like some days your makeup is just hitting and then some days you're like well i hope you do we could you know i'll be feeling like that sometimes and then sometimes it's the lighting like it depends on where i am i can't really get the full zhuzh of it and i just don't feel like it's really eating the way that the little kids these days you saying eating little kids <laughs> Okay, hi, so we're gonna highlight the, the here, right here, right down the middle. Now, I don't have that in between shade, the shade that's not as light. So the shade that would be one shade lighter than my skin, I don't have that. So I already feel like my face is gonna be looking crazy because there just needs to be a gradual effect, you feel me? And let's go ahead and get onto the cheek. Yeah, 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 all right. Oh, and if you see my hair, do you like it? It's a half up, half down. I did fill in my edges and we are doing makeup, so I know it looks a little wild. Let me finish. Okay, like little kids would say these days, little kids. The little kids say these days, let me cook. All right, I'm cooking, I'm in the kitchen. So allow me to finish before you make any judgments. Oh, hi. Oh my God, I made oxtail for the first time, right? And nobody, so first of all, I didn't ask. So how can somebody tell me that I didn't ask? My mom didn't tell me. Maybe she said I knew. I had never made oxtail in my life. 
Is it oxtail or oxtails? I didn't make it in the Jamaican way, so please, I just made the oxtail. Mm -hmm. So just one, one tail. I made oxtail, right? And I didn't know that you need to boil it for two years. So I made this stew. My stew was so good. Although I used too much tomato paste on my stew. I was like, dang, what? Because the tomato paste I had was, was huge and I didn't want to waste. And trying to save tomato paste, yeah, it's going to spoil. I don't cook stew that often for it to even be used in a reasonable amount of time. So I ended up using the whole tomato paste. The, the tomato paste took over my stew. Okay, wait. So the stew was delicious it's still there okay but you know there's some tweaks that i can do mm -hmm. there's some tweaks that i can do so the tomato paste to go for my stew but it's still good nonetheless okay so i made my stew on the stove and watched it in my vlog hi and then i went and i put the oxtail oxtails whatever in the air fryer this is lys you already know me i love this right Stick bronzer, bronze tool, bronze tool. Mm -hmm. And I cooked it, you feel me, air fried it, whatever. And I was like, oh, it's done. I put it in my stew. I stirred my stew. I said I was done with my food. I fed me to me more. I went to go get my rice and I was about to eat and I chewed on the oxtail and I was like, excuse me. If you ever made oxtail before, come out, let me know what. I was like, why is this so hard? <laughs> I was like, yo, I had no clue that I was supposed to boil this before or just boil. Like you can just boil your meat and then put it in or you can boil it and then fry it if you want it to be a certain texture. I, I didn't know that. You feel me? I just I didn't know. So, so when I went to bed, I was like, nah, man, I cannot leave that oxtail and that's too like that. It's not going to be enjoyable. You feel me? And I learned my lesson. So I said, you know what? Tomorrow, I'm going to go dig out the oxtail from the stew. If you are Ghanaian and Nigerian, Liberian, even if you're Cameroonian, hey, if you make stew, come and let me know. I was like, yo, I got to go dig out that, that oxtail and, and cook it the right way because otherwise my stew is, is spoiled. Like it's just not gonna be enjoyable. So the next morning I went and I just dug out the oxtails and I put, yeah, oxtails, I'm tired of this. And then I put it on the stove in a pot and I just started boiling it. And I didn't even know how long I should be boiling it, but I knew that it needed to be boiled because the way it was so hard. So I'm boiling, 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 boiling. I fed my crochet oxtail, no? I went to go look at it and I'm like, I don't even think this is ready because I'm expecting it to look like the way it looks when I buy Jamaican food and the oxtail is falling off of the bone. Yes, yeah. And it wasn't doing that. And I'm like, yo, because they be simmering it in a freaking crock pot. You feel me? And then I'm like, dang, do I need to cook my oxtail overnight? Do I need to cook my oxtail 24 hours the next time I want to make stew? I mean, what is this? You know, comment and let me know if you've even, if you've ever made this before. What are y'all doing? Are y'all simmering your oxtail for 24 hours before you make your stew? I just need to know. That I, In my head, I was thinking, dang, the meat is already dead, but I feel like I'm even killing it more because why is this not done yet? When is it going to fall off the bone? When is it going to fall? Because, you know, chicken is a lot more tender. So you boil chicken and it's falling off the bone and maybe, I don't know. No, 20 minutes. I don't boil chickens. I don't know. I was like, dang, this oxtail been cooking for like three hours. <laughs> this oxtail is dead, 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 dead. You feel me? And I was like, yo, is my stew ruined now? What am I supposed to do? Like, am I supposed to just abort mission? Should I just forget? Should I call it a loss? What should I do? So I kept cooking my oxtail and then I get drew baby and I stuck a fork in it and I was like, oh, okay. It's seeming soft. I feel like this is where it needs to be. But no, nah, I didn't know if I should put the oxtail back inside. This is my oxtail chronicles, okay? I didn't know if I should put it back inside the stew or if I should like, I didn't know what to do. I was very like this. I'm very green to this oxtail thing. Hmm? Cause I don't normally cook with beef anyway, okay? Like, you know, I normally do seafood or chicken. You feel what I'm saying? So I have the oxtail separately from the stew because I'm like, I don't know. I didn't know if it was soft enough. So what I've been doing is when I get my stew, then I get my rice and I get my oxtail and I put it together on the plate because I don't want to put it back in and it's not soft enough because then I'm thinking, do I need to cook this oxtail again? Can you imagine cooking oxtail for two days? I can't. Mm -mm. I can't do it. So anyway, that's where I am right now. That's what I had. That's I'm, I'm playing all this to say I got energy because I ate because if not, I think I'd be like freaking falling off of this chair. Hi. And yeah, honey, the food was delicious. Ooh, this contour is looking very... <laughs> When the base, meaning the concealer and the highlight is too light or lighter than your contour, the the juxtaposition is just a little wild, okay? But we're gonna we get all this the other night powder, okay? Don't be alarmed. I even have to say beauty bronze. I should put it over here. Cause for instance, this foundation is more closely matched to my skin tone. That's why this contour looks very dark. Cause this contour is the one that I love to use when my foundation is a little bit darker, you feel me? So when the foundation is darker, the contour isn't as harsh. Now, one thing I did the other day that I have done was it one time or just that one time? 
okay? Use matte powder under my eyes. I don't know what it gotten into, got into me. Okay, it might be because I remember, I miss it and I knew that it looked good, but I strayed away from matte powder because one, if your under eye is dry in any way, when you put a matte setting powder under it, it's going to absorb into that dry patch, let's say, or that dry area, and it's gonna look insane. And I've had a time or two where that happened to me and it was just terrible. Your makeup just looks crazy. And then I tried the Huda Glow Wear situation and I loved it, but I recognized that I think by now it's no longer even alive, I think, or it's on its way out. So the other day I was like, let me go back to the matte under eye and see how I feel. Cause my skin has been really good. I haven't been having issues with it and, and I don't, have any dry patches under my eye that I have to worry about. But the thing about it is that once you do it, you're done. It's it's a done deal and you have to worry about trying to fix it or just leaving it where it is. So anyway, I did the LYS Beauty pressed powder under my eye, the, what's it called? I think it's called Banana. So good, I loved how my makeup came out that day. It was phenomenal. By the way, if you're using your face right now, comment, let me know. If you're working with me at the same time, comment, let me know because that means that we're on FaceTime. Mm -hmm. Hi. So today I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier Loose translucent honey powder under my eye. I've been accumulating all these loose powders, the yellow banana type ones, and I have not been using them because I've been doing the luminous under eye. Another thing is that I used to use a sponge to apply, and as you know, I usually use a brush to apply the luminous one. The thing about the sponge is that, again, you press it in, yo, if it's crazy, it's crazy, and it's stuck, and you're done. So I would always use the brush because then you can go lightly. You're just lightly applying whatever it is, but I wanna just, challenge myself again, go back to what I used to do in a few areas, not too much, you feel me? And I'm gonna take this sponge, you saw that I pressed because you want to make sure that the creases are pressed in. We're not trying to set the crease, hello? And then make sure you get your eye boogers out too. We don't wanna set eye boogers, hello? Okay, we're not trying to do that. You see that? Do you see her? We're not trying to set eye boogers, okay? Get them out the way. Let's keep you some Q-tips next to your station. Or if you have stiletto nails like I do, then you don't have to do that, okay? Uh -huh. Or even use tweezers, hell, I've done that before. Okay, so setting this, all right? And then I'm pinching it too, cause I don't need this big old thing. I'm in a small area. So pinch it to get right up in that area. I got a lot of powder, okay? But I don't want all of it. Let's do back in the hand. And then start right up in here. And then we're gonna go right down the side of the nose. This looks stunning. We're doing more back of the hand. And we're going over close to the eye. Oh, this looks really good. Okay, wow, we're back. I'm so excited, ah, we're back. Listen, your under eyes not being dry is not something, don't take that for granted, okay? Here's what I mean. You might have a time where your under eye is dry for whatever reason, so check out the area. Make sure your skincare is on point, you feel me? So that you don't have that dryness. Cause if you out here using matte powder under your eyes and it's looking patchy, it's probably cause your under eye is dry. So keep that skincare going, okay? Here we go, tapping off the excess and we gonna do the middle of the face. Oh my God, a fully matte face makes me so sick. I used to always do this. And then I got away from it, you feel me? And now I'm back to it, hi. And it's crazy to do it in the winter time, what? <laughs> this, I should have been doing this in the summertime, you know? Right down the middle of the face, just squeeze this right here. I'm feeling dry, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> a matte face when I just exfoliated is insane. Now I don't need to make this look any lighter, so let me not add this, because this is not only going to set the face, but it's gonna make the area look lighter. Okay, I am gonna take some of this, because I usually will take a translucent and go over my eyelid and then brows. I'm taking what's left over on here, over the eyelids and brows, just to dry it up a little bit, you feel me? We don't need grease when I'm gonna apply my brow product. I don't need that in my life, you know? See, here's the thing, when you mattify your face, you really wanna be careful because you don't wanna mattify so much that you look crusty. You wanna look dry enough where you still look comfortable, hydrated, not thirsty. You want your skin to look thirsty. You know what I mean. You know what thirsty dryness be looking like, okay? Speaking of for a collection, go ahead and get your Micro Smooth Powder because it's real good. It's gonna give you some light, medium coverage. Is it medium? I don't know, because I put it on top of full coverage foundation all the time. But definitely light and definitely blurring, definitely very pretty, okay? This is the shade Espresso. And we're gonna just get right in between the highlight and the contour. And then maybe 
I'll go over the contour. I don't know. It is very bold. This is so strange too, even doing this because normally my under eye is glowing. You feel what I'm saying? It is not right now. <laughs> if you normally do a matte under eye comment, let me know. Cause I want to know. Look at this thing is almost done. I need another one. And I gave one to my mom. Remember that time in my vlog, my mom wanted to learn how to do a 10 minute makeup and I gave her my brand new micro smooth. That girl is not doing her makeup. I have not seen her do her makeup yet. And she'd be like, oh, I do when I go to church. I do when I go to meet some, uh, I haven't seen it, okay? When you go do your makeup or you go to these churches and the meetings, you need to FaceTime me so I can have proof of, proof of concept, okay? I need to have proof that you actually doing it. As it stands, you're not using it. You made me waste my product on you. I mean, there was a sale coming up, but why do I gotta buy a new one? What I got go some berry, you know? Remember that? Remember that song? Okay, this is how I darken up my contour. This is the Elf Cosmetics Powder Foundation. The shade is 660M. Rich 660M. Wow, do I have energy? Oh, wait. This is the brand Relevant. I don't even know what that is. How did I get this? We're gonna use Relevant, this brush, and we're gonna powder the perimeter of the face to widen the area where this contour is because it's looking crazy for me right now, okay? All right. And then somehow, it must have been when I, put, when I put the powder on, I wiped off the coverage that I had right here for the blemishes that I had. So I can see it, which is annoying me because it just doesn't look smooth. So yeah, HD skin is medium coverage. Depending on what I got going on, I gotta add some concealer or some foundation just right in that area, wherever the area is that needs extra coverage because how? Why'd you come off? You should have stayed. If there was concealer, it'd be more dense. It, I don't believe it would have come off. So doing this, we're gonna add this, you feel me? And I don't even think I need to add any more contour to my nose because it's looking real smash. Let's get under the chin, you feel me? We're getting the jawline. I used to not focus on this, but lately I've been like, yo, do it. What's the, what's the issue? Just do it, you feel me? I don't bring it down the neck or anything, but we definitely gonna just go right here. Because of the highlight that I put under my cheek, it just brings it all together when you go ahead and you do this, okay? Now we do blush. How does this look? I can't even deal. Does it look like something? I better look like something when I finish this. Cause you know, when you step outside, those are the true, that's how you really can truly tell what's going on with your face and your makeup. When you're inside, you don't really be knowing all the time. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, we gonna do a new blush. Oh God, oh, wait. We doing a matte under eye and a new blush. That just gets me, cause I'm used to my, anyway, here we are. This is about face, okay? This is the, is the shade called Blush Rush? It's the Pigmented Fluid Blush, okay? And the shade is Pit Stop. So it is called Blush Rush, whatever. It got a lot of names. About face is very pigmented, okay? We gonna go ahead and use this. Oh, look at this little, look at this little applicator. That's freaking funny. Okay, let's apply, ooh. It looks like a rusty orange, which is pretty and I'm just applying it all over my hand. I'm gonna show you, all right? And then I'm going to use, see, and this is the other issue too. When it came to my blush with that Patrick Star, the one size thing, it, is, it was so flat. I couldn't do my blush. It was just like, what's happening right now? So here's the round part. I'm going to squeeze and then, ooh, looks so pretty. Ooh, I hope it has a lot of pigment. I need to see, oh crap. Oh my God, wait, what's going on? Wait, I don't like it. I just blotted it on a paper towel in front of me. Hold on, it's too light. Oh crap, no, I hate it. What? Okay, I hate it, and now what? Okay, mm, it's too light. It's not dark enough. I need to see it, and now it's all over my face. What? And I took it too high, hold on. Okay, oh, you can see it, but it, I'm not seeing it how I like to see it, okay? There's a difference. Now we need to balance out the face, and then I'm gonna go and do my under eye again a little bit, because I see it too high up right Right there. Let's squeeze again, pounce, pounce, pounce. Go here and apply to balance everything out. If you make a mistake on one side of your face, make the same mistake intentionally on the other side and then fix it, okay? You gotta commit, all right? I don't see it. I know you see it on the camera, but I don't see it enough to be worth it. What? Is this supposed to be a, a flush? A flush? Yeah, right? It's supposed to be, no, it says fluid blush. So, it, but is it supposed to be a flush of color? Cause yeah, even when I blotted this, it looks sheer. I don't do sheer, I do highly pigmented. So not for me, but if you don't, if you wanna try orange and you are concerned because you don't want it to be loud, then this is for you. But because I like for my blush, I mean all of my colors to be in your face, it's just not for me. What's for me might not be for you and vice versa. Now this is just, in my, I just I'm going back to it every single time. I, I try new things. I want to do, use something new, but it just, no, it's just not gonna work. I love orange on brown skin, especially on my skin tone. And then see now I, I still see that old one. So I don't even know what's what. Look, we're just gonna go with it today. And then I can still see my blemish right here. 
so I'm a little annoyed. And I gotta fix my contour. Yo, am I into today's look or not? Cause I'm not. <laughs> I'm not into today's look, you feel me? And it's the funniest thing when I read the comments when I'm not into my looks on that certain day, which I'll be saying is so funny. Yeah, cause what are we doing? This is the brush that I used on my eyelid, remember? I just need to blend out this harsh line here. I'm just not thrilled. I'm not thrilled. And now I do need to go with this Elf Cosmetics situation again to blend into the blush because the blush took over my face. It took over the, the cheeks. We need to get this going. There just needs to be a gradient starting from the back of the cheek and bringing it in, not all the way because I do want the orange blush to still show right here. I mean, you can still see it overall. It looks pretty on the camera, just in person. It's like, what are we doing? And why are we doing it? You know, it's light and it's not what I enjoy. Let's do the eyebrows that people like to tell me I'm doing eyebrow, eye blonde, eye blonde. <laughs> They tell me I'm doing eye blindness. Mm? Eyebrow blindness, leave me the hell alone, okay? Make sure your bills are paid on time, that's all that matters. My brows and how I do them doesn't matter, okay? This is Koki Cosmetics brow situation, and this is black, you feel me? And it's nice and it's not a soft black, cause soft black be looking crazy on me. It's black, you feel me? But it's not like, it's not deepest black, it's not extreme black, you feel me? And yeah, the brows are gonna pop on this makeup because the foundation is lighter than I've done in the past or that I have been wearing. And the concealer, because of the foundation, looks lighter than usual. So the brow is gonna look darker than usual. I know you know what I mean. And if you know what I mean, comment and let me know. And make sure you subscribe here. Make sure you subscribe on all socials as well. Even on LTK, look at the QR code if you're watching on television, use your phone and scan it and then download the LTK app because it's free. And if you subscribe by hitting the bell in the LTK app, you'll literally get notifications whenever I post and I post everything on LTK first. So if there's something that you like and love, honey, you wanna be subscribed so that you don't miss out on that item. Like the Target dress that went viral, which I was not expecting. I mean, when do we expect it you just never know you want to be subscribed because you could have gotten that dress now you know i have not been using an eyeshadow primer religiously for a while and really it's just because of me moving just just me just moving fast and not wanting to slow down to do it but we're gonna do it today because really it is the best thing to do and it's the right way to go this is mario f5 brush i like the angle of it and it fits right here so nicely And then this Huda liner is just so good. The black one, let's just draw this on, you feel me? Not needing this liner to be perfect at all, just needing it to be on. Ooh, that, okay, okay. The liner went on thicker than I wanted because I forget that when you go over shimmer, you need to wipe before you go over again, otherwise you're mixing the color in with the shimmer. I'm annoyed. Good thing my lashes are thick, so you're not gonna see all of this foolishness. It be happening to the best of us, okay? And you just you live it, it's okay, all right? So you put it on and then the liner has the eyeshadow all over it. So wipe it off and then go again, you feel me? Don't go back because you're gonna drag in the gold or whatever shimmer color you use, you're gonna be dragging it right over. Okay, wipe it. Now we are near the waterline, so I don't care as much. It's just up at the top there that was the problem <laughs> my line ain't gonna be perfect and normally i would smudge it when it's not perfect but look i just took a risk by reusing it in the inner eye and thankfully it was fine but you can't smudge when you have this gold shimmer halo going on it's been a while since i did a halo okay let me see a halo halo Ooh. i just want to give us a little smudge at the end though we're not gonna smudge you know the middle of the eye but just at the end i don't need this to be so just hard okay this is the tartlet tubing mascara and i will be honest i didn't know what tubing meant this is my first time right i don't think i've used this before first time using this and i'm just giving it a little wiggle something about it depositing tubes onto i don't know 
Is that the right thing? I thought it was fibers. I don't know what tubing means. Something, something about it looking thick and voluminous, honey. Either way, this still is a pretty though. Not the thickest lashes I've ever had for mascara, but this is great. Look at that, still the same one dip. Well, you know, I took it out one time. That does look very good. Now, you know, I'm gonna do lashes. That's not gonna ever stop. But if you are not gonna do lashes and or still want a very good mascara, this is definitely a contender. Look at that. Link below, of course. All right, oh, and this lipstick smell, smells good. What's in here, Le Mercier? Mm. So here's a look. This is a chatty one. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, comment below, give the video a thumbs up. Follow me on all socials, of course. And let me know if you love this look. I mean, the blush looks good on the camera. I just can't see it much. I cannot see it much in person. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. All links are below, also on my LTK right here, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.